Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, a visualization, a weird earthquake, and science articles on Mars and solar forcing to hit today. As always, we are starting with our star, and we're going to see the central coronal hole turning from those longitudes towards the limb. Its faster solar wind is set our way and should arrive tomorrow night or Friday. Meanwhile, we have a couple plasma filaments to watch as well. Northern plasma rope destabilized and danced around, and there are a couple more on the south we're going to have to keep an eye on. The solar wind continues to see unstable phi angle, the magnetic character of the stream, leading to more intermittent geomagnetic instability ahead of that coronal hole stream's arrival. The sunspot situation is little changed, a bit of decay and some new spots at the limb, but flaring potential is low for the time being. Very strange earthquake to report here. Shaking in this region, out to sea in the Pacific, is far from expected with no nearby faults, and at the magnitude 6 range, it truly is a rare seismic event. Interesting. Let's go to the eclipse visual for the upcoming lunar event on November 8th. In six days, the Americas and parts of the West Pacific will see a total lunar eclipse. Going to be a gorgeous sight to behold, as they all are. If you've never seen one, it's incredible how the moon blackens, but then hits a red note during totality. Truly worth getting outside to watch next week. Folks, it's finally time to say goodbye to InSight. The dust on its solar panels has accumulated to the point where it can't shake the lack of sunlight to its panels, and systems are shutting down. InSight delivered the information about increasing Mars seismic activity and also allowed us to learn that its mantle is active, was one of the best solar system shift missions of the last decade. Top story today hits the Asian monsoon during a past Dansgaard Oshkar epoch. Not only did they notice the centennial variability, one of the important minor cycles, but the oxygen and carbon signals match up, showing the control of the sun. Weak solar activity means weak monsoon activity, a point we've made several times using more recent data. Looks like the confirmation is also an extension of the correlation back into the glacial period. The sun controls so much of what we take for granted and depend on to feed the world. We greatly appreciate your support. We go into high detail on that control in our books and playlists listed below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.